What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So look, I'm making this quick video because I need some advice, all right? Now, before we go through this, I don't need y'all judging me, okay? And keep all your judgments to yourself. I just need some suggestions, all right? Suggestions, not judgments. Anyway, so my unit is about, I don't know, 15 by 30 or so with a very high ceiling. You can see that. It's a lot of space. And um, I had it pretty organized like when I first moved in, but now it's getting kind of cramped. And I'm trying to figure out how to reorganize everything. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna walk y'all through. What I want y'all to do is give me some suggestions down in the comment, comments below. I know it's gonna be hard to visualize, but again, just visualize about 15 by 30. It's about 30 going that way. Um, and, and of course, 15 across or so. And I can go pretty high, okay? I need to reorganize because I need to make space. So I'm going to show you what I got going on. I'm going to tell you what I was thinking. And then in the comments, just leave y'all suggestions. Maybe some of them I'll consider, maybe not. But I need to stimulate some thought, man, because I'm really having some like roadblocks with reimagining my space. All right. So let me show y'all what's going on. All right. So from the front. So what I did was I bought this section of pallet racking from my man, Josh. All right. That's one section. And I got um, bars to make two shelves, okay? As you can see, I got it all clogging up my, my whole photo booth space and everything. So I got a lot of clutter going on. This little front area is typically where I was holding some of my uh, products that was waiting to be listed and things. I got a bunch of stuff at home, of course, because this is clogged up. I got this stuff here that really doesn't have to be here. This is a cabinet. I just kind of keep like some food stuff in there. It's kind of in a way. That was the air conditioner for the summer. Again, this is just boxes and stuff. So that's in a way. Along this wall, I got my shelf for my food and like my little refrigerator and all that type of stuff, right? Underneath, just, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Over, over here, where you see this mess, we got some envelopes and things like that. A lot of poly bags and some of my like Amazon envelopes and things like that going on here. This definitely should be cleaned up, but whatever. On this shelf, it's just all mail and supplies. So this centerpiece. Now this centerpiece, it's, it's made for sorting, right? There's two tables. There's two big tables. I can get stuff underneath. I even got my tire in here in a way. I got to get that. That's my, my spare. Um, I got stuff underneath. You see, I got these little cubbies. I got a couple boxes of inventory under here, some candles and stuff, a box for Facebook. But this is made for sorting. Right now, it's kind of cluttered. You can see I got all this stuff. I was separating stuff, getting stuff ready for Amazon, all that good stuff, man. Um, two tables there again. Again, that's my photo section. Then my... uh shells go around so i then i have these big things now these i bought initially because i thought it was a good idea now i'm just not so sure i mean they help but you know i got a little walkway space in between that i can still just kind of cut through and get to any side over here right goes right back to the wall then i got some shelves against the wall and on these two shelves I do hold some supplies at the top, so like random boxes, but then on the other shelves, um, it's inventory. So let me get the light. Now we go back here, we got the other shelf for the supply. Oh, and even this. So initially I made my um, shipping table to make more room for shipping, but at this point, I feel like I need a whole new table because I ship so many items, this just ain't enough room right here. And as you can see, that needs to be cleaned too. Again, don't judge. Uh, but like my thing is, even this right here, this is in the corner. So like I'm always just trying to reach back there to grab stuff. So I don't like that. You have these boxes, or not these boxes, but these shelves, which typically I'll use for bigger stuff. These are kind of segregated too for specific Walmart and um, Amazon items. Then... In this corner, I got some uh, some um, drawers, you know. 
drawers, whatever you want to call it. So, I'll give y'all guys my thoughts on what I was thinking, and y'all can tell me what y'all think. All right, so, what I was thinking is, I was thinking to take the pallet rack, right? That section of pallet rack, and to put it on the back wall, okay? Now, I was thinking maybe take these two big racks here and set them against the back wall, Okay, set those against the back wall, take those shelves off the wall and run those parallel to the ones on the wall. If that's making sense, run those parallel, put these two green ones against the back wall. And then for the pallet rack, I can make the first the first shelf can be right above the, the green ones. Right. So the first shelf will start like not too high above these green ones. And then the top shelf will be you know, on top, but then I feel like if I did it that way, I would be kind of not utilizing those, that pallet rack to its full capacity necessarily, right? Because I wanted there to be a little space in that so I can kind of stack boxes on top of each other. The only other thing is just go ahead and get rid of the two green shells. Like, see, hold on, sorry. Just get rid of these two green shells Take the metal shells off the back wall, run them parallel, put the pallet rack on the back, um, and then I can have two shells, one like maybe in the middle of the pallet rack, and then the other one on top or close to the top of the rack, move all my shipping supplies over probably to the top part, move any inventory on that second part because I'll have enough room to double stack it. So that should be enough for everything I got here plus everything I got at home because I want to, what I want to do, of course, is unclog my damn um, photo area because I'm like squished in over there right now. Um, but I want to clear out this front. I also want to have a whole other table for when I ship a lot of items. I can just line them up and I ain't, and it's going to, because one of the reasons why this is so dirty over here and, and crowded is because I do so much shipping and like, as I'm going through stuff, right, I'm moving, I'm getting, you know, emptying bags and I, it's just, you know, you get stuff and you just leave it there and it's like, I'll get to it later. So, um, you know, that'll help me avoid that. Just cluttering up that space and then like with the whole, I'll get to it later mentality. So I'll just have a whole nother table for that. Then I'll have these two tables. Now, a buddy of mine, Mike said, he said, well, why don't you just double stack these tables and you can work like that. But I'm like, then I'm up here reaching up on like, I get it. Like if you want to go up, right? But the other thing I was thinking, the other thing I was thinking is if I can buy another, because that section from Ja, and he's my buddy, so he gave it to me fairly cheap. I want to say 100, one something, right? Everybody else on Facebook want more than that for a section. I can use that as a second floor if I get more sections because I can put two or three together and put board across it. Since I don't have that right, that's just a thought for later. Since I don't have that right now, I'm not going to worry. But that's something I was thinking as far as because I've been trying to figure out how to make a second floor. Because a lot of guys in this building, they actually built second floors in their units. So, But that takes a lot of wood and a lot of stuff. But some really nice units in here, guys. Um, some man caves and all of that. But I figured if I had three sections of the pallet racking, or four even, bring it all the way out to like right up towards the front. And then just run plywood across it all the way towards the back and that'll be like a second floor but i don't know that's for the future right now i'm trying to figure this out so for this whole front area i gotta figure out like how i really want to use i want this space cleared out all of this stuff will end up on the pallet rack right so this area will be freed i need my space back over there of course so i need this table right here off my back right i need to move that so I don't know if I should put them together and just make it like a two all the way out and stretch it out. So just one long table going straight out. You know what I mean? And maybe maybe just um just leave it like that. Not add another table for shipping and you know just I don't know, man. I don't know because this is just getting crazy. Like even if you look under here, like this stuff is just from shipping yesterday, and I just never really cleaned up too much after because of the holiday coming right so 
So I'm like, I'll get to it. You know, holidays coming, I ain't got to do nothing. But, I mean, it's cool for, you know, up to maybe 50 to 60 items. But anything after that, then it's just not, it's just not working. So I need, I need a whole table like this and then I could just line them all straight across and it'll be so much easier for me. And then it, I won't be cluttering over where I work at because everything will be done on the one table. But I'm thinking if I just take these two tables and put them, you know, one against the other straight though, just, you know, one long one, do it that way, take these big things and probably just sell these off to somebody because I I can't really see I can't envision them being here because I'm going to have to take these off that wall, run these parallel this way, take that. I think the best pl place for that pallet rack section is going to be back there. I'm pretty sure it'll fit, um, but I'm probably going to have to readjust this shelf too. I think this shelf is going to be in the way. So this whole section might have to get moved down, which is fine because I don't think I need that case down there i can toss it and move this whole shelf over there and move this move all of this stuff down and then as i'm doing this there's a lot of stuff that i really don't need i'm just going to throw away you know i get that hoarder mentality sometimes like oh i might use that but no i'm not going to use it so that's what i'm thinking so do me a favor y'all I know it kind of might be hard to visualize just through the camera, but give me y'all thoughts. If you just looking at what I showed y'all, how would y'all do it? Like, how would y'all move these pieces around? Do you think I'm, do you think my idea of moving the pallet rack to the back, running the other ones parallel and getting rid of these two green ones is good? Should I just put the green ones on the back wall, run the other ones parallel and put the pallet rack, stack that over the green ones? I don't know. I need a way to maximize the space, man. And the best way to maximize the space is to stack, you know, I got to stack stuff up. I don't like the idea of stacking the tables up, even though at first it sounded good when Mike said it, but I, I ain't going to be, you know, I, I, I see what he's saying, but I just ain't, I really ain't feeling that right now. But let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'll take what everybody's saying into consideration and we'll see what I figure. Because I, and, and the other thing is, there's a lot of stuff. I don't want to go moving it and not like it or it don't work and then have to move it again, especially with that big pallet rack. I ain't about to keep doing that. Right. So I want to do this. I want to. And then what I want to do is draw it out and then, you know, just do a little schematic and visualize it that way and then see if it works in my mind and we'll see what happens. But let me know what y'all think below, man. I need y'all. I need y'all to give me y'all's perspective. Sometimes you just need that outside perspective, you know, that you might not be seeing. So. I'll be waiting to see what y'all say. Thank you, and I appreciate it.